Aracita, things are green in the valley, as you see, but in the mountain ranges, yeah, it's kind of getting a little crispy. Let's join Chief Meteorologist Mary Matthews now with a look at our forecast. Hey, Mary. Yeah, that's a good uh, descriptive word. Crunchy, crispy. Uh, we're going into uh, one of our driest Mays on record, and we had a below average uh, winter in terms of precipitation coming from a very lackluster, uh, really no monsoon season last year. So unfortunately, too many months of uh, extremely dry conditions is putting more than two thirds of the state uh, under some type of drought. And uh, that is why with these gusty west southwesterly winds coming in across parts of the four corners in the western slope, we've got red flag warnings and high fire danger yet again. The reason we have these strong winds is all courtesy of a trough that is digging across the northern California coastline. Uh, that is what is really increasing those winds uh, kind of wedged in between this area of high pressure across parts of New Mexico and West Texas and that low pressure. So you're getting some of those fast uh, wind speeds across the uh, areas in between those two systems or a stronger uh, pressure gradient. That's allowing those uh, winds to uh, uh, howl quite a bit across the mountains and the western slope. Alongside with that, we've got very dry air coming in across some of those locations as well. That area of low pressure turning just offshore of Northern California will continue to swing across the four corners over the next couple of days, bringing us a few isolated storm chances. But for right now, very dry conditions and we're going to be mostly dry tonight. We still have the high fire danger in place until 8 o'clock tonight for the southern mountains and parts of the San Luis Valley. Uh, areas uh, across the, the high country need to be particularly mindful uh, of uh, really any smoke on the horizon for the next few hours. Make sure you uh, let your local authorities know and do your part to protect our state because it is extremely dry out there. General thunderstorms are expected tomorrow along and west of I-25. Activity will stay fairly isolated. It's only about a 20 to 30 percent chance, so that means lo most locations are going to stay dry. Severe storm chance will be very isolated tomorrow as well, but these are the locations where our dynamics will be a little bit more favorable if some of that moisture really scoots in along and east of I-25 across the Palmer Divide and parts of the Raton Mesa. So tomorrow does bring a slight chance of a few stray showers and thunderstorms, but for tonight and the first half of the day tomorrow. We keep mostly dry and calm conditions in the forecast, starting off with plenty of sunshine across the Pikes Peak region. We build in the cloud cover for the afternoon hours, still mixing in with the sunshine at hot times and very warm temperatures at the surface. Make it a little rain cooled air across parts of Fountain areas in southeastern El Paso County, northern Pueblo County and a few locations along and south of the Highway 50 area. Anytime after about three o'clock tomorrow, some of these storms could pack some gusty winds with the potential for some small to moderate sized hail. So just be mindful one or two severe thunderstorm warnings are not completely out of the realm of possibility uh, for some of these locations tomorrow, but the mountains will mainly just see some gusty winds and some frequent lightning with any storms that pop tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Otherwise, the key message for most of Southern Colorado on Tuesday is the potential for record breaking heat temperatures back in the 80s and 90s. Gusty winds out of the east southeast for the Raton Mesa out of the west across the San Luis Valley. Look at these high temperatures in the Pikes Peak region, 70s and 80s. You're talking a good 15 to 20 degrees above average for this time of year. Here's the records to beat tomorrow. If Colorado Springs has a forecasted high of 85, if we hit 88, we tie an old record set back in 2009. Probably won't come close to the 98 degree record in Pueblo. Thank goodness, speaking for myself, 91 degrees is the forecasted high tomorrow, though. Uh, so the, again, very warm and unseasonably uh, warm for this time of year. And notice across parts of the eastern plains areas, uh, really in Lamar and Prowers County, uh, we'll keep a little bit more cloud cover in the, the uh, areas across the far eastern plains, and that'll help to limit daytime heating just a bit for parts of Lamar. So not quite as warm, low 80s, whereas Rocky Ford, Ordway will be in that 90 degree range yet again for tomorrow. A slight chance of a straight shower thunderstorm for Woodland Park. It's a 20% chance, folks, so most locations stay dry. We do fall back into the 80s for parts of Pueblo on Wednesday, 60s for Teller County. Uh, so weak little system coming through will help to kind of reinforce a little bit in the way of milder conditions, but still uh, going to be unseasonably warm. And that dry stretch of weather only continues for the latter half of the week with just a very small chance of an isolated storm or two by Thursday and Friday as we really roll through the upcoming weekend. I know it's only Monday, but it's never too early. 80s back in the forecast for Saturday. So the unseasonably warm conditions will continue for most of the week. Bart? All right,